Pledge for Peace. We start Jeremy Tanaka, Atomic Bomb Survivor Representative, will deliver the Pledge for Peace. Pledge for Peace. On August 9, 1945, I was 13 years old, and I was on the second floor of my house, 3.2 kilometers away from the hype center, when the atomic bomb was dropped. While I was trapped under the large glass door that came flying because of the blast of the bomb, I somehow miraculously survived uninjured. Three days later, around this time, I was wandering around this hill where the houses had been destroyed with a trace left and where there were charred bodies lying all over the place. I managed to find the remains of the house belonging to an aunt from my father's side, and at the house, the charred bodies of my aunt and her family were lying about. At the same time, in Uenomachi, which was just down the hill, there were burning the, burning the remains of an aunt from mother's side of the family who had survived the past three days on top of a metal seat. Seeing the bones which retained their human shape afterwards, I was reminded of my kind aunt and fell to my knees crying. I lost five family members all at once to the atomic bomb. To this day, I am unable to erase from my memory the horrifying scene I witnessed in the Urakami area that day. In a very short time, the atomic bomb indiscriminately stole many lives and injured great numbers of people. It still causes those hibakusha who survived to suffer until the day they die. Among things that humans can do to one another, this is one that cannot be forgiven. For some 10 years after the bombing, the hibakusha who moved all over the country were paid no attention by anyone and continue to suffer alone from fear of diseases and death from the bomb as well as from prejudice and discrimination. Encouraged by anti-hydrogen bomb movement, which originated with the suffering caused by the ashes of death due to the United States hydrogen bomb test at Bikini Atoll on March 1, 1954, and which spread throughout the country, the Japan Confederation of Atomic and Hydrogen Bomb Sufferers Organizations was formed in August 1956. Under the belief that no one in the world should ever experience the same suffering, the Hibakusha who gathered into the Japan Confederation of A and H Bomb Sufferers Organization have told and spread the horrible reality of the atomic bomb damages to people, both in and out of Japan, and have continued to appeal to the world to abolish nuclear weapons as soon as possible. From 2010 on, the topic of the inhumane suffering caused by nuclear weapons has become a focus of discussion in international politics. Policies. Finally, the many activities carried out over the years by Hibakusha and the civil society who have wished for atomic and hydrogen bomb to be outlawed and the focused lobbying activities of the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons or ICANN came to fruition and the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons was adopted by the UN in July 2017. The path to nuclear abolition, which is Hibakusha desperately wished to see during their lifetimes, has now come into view to us. There is nothing more joyful than this. However, the Japanese government, which should know best of the suffering of the Hibakusha and of the inhumane nature of nuclear weapons, will be acting in line with the will of its allies, the United States, and will neither sign nor ratify the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. This was announced by the Prime Minister himself last year on August 6 and 9, the anniversaries of the atomic bombings. We find this to be most unfortunate. Nuclear weapon states and their allies will continue 
continue to claim there is a need for nuclear deterrence as long as there are countries that cannot create trusting relations with each other. This nuclear deterrence exists on the premise that nuclear weapons will be used. The relations of trust between countries should be formed through thorough discussions. The spirit of Article 9 of the Constitution of Japan, which determined that Japan would not have military forces for the purpose of resolving conflicts, is a model that calls out to the world, and it's something we should be proud of in this nuclear age. In conclusion, while remembering the actions of the past, I request that the Treaty on the Prohibition of the Nuclear Weapons be brought into force as soon as possible, and I hereby pledge that I firmly etch into my heart the decision to do everything possible to work toward a world free of nuclear weapons and world. Terumi Tanaka, Atomic Bomb Survivor Representative, August 9, 2018. Thank you. 